So I've been trying to learn more about OpenAI and one of the things that I have been playing around with is building out this CLI tool to basically allow me to add entries to a SQLite database and also ask OpenAI to look over those entries and kind of give me some analytics of like what has happened in the past, whatever entries I've added, right? So you can use this for like a diary, you can use this for a journal, you can use this for tracking, like working out, etc. But the main point of this video is I want to share a cool library called Commander which you can install and use in building out your CLI interfaces, right? They have a bunch of built-in functionality where you simply just require a commander package and you can start defining different um, commands or options and you'll automatically get a nice help. For example, if I do npm run start hyphen hyphen help, you'll see that I get this nice help interface and I didn't have to write any of this at all. This is all built into the commander package. And in order to achieve this, all you need to do is you go into your TypeScript file and you just import the program from Commander. And then down here, you can actually start including and in setting up different commands, right? So I'm setting up an add command. I'm describing it to basically say, this is how you can add entries into the database. I'm specifying an argument that this thing needs to take an entry. And then once a user inputs that command, it'll run a callback function. You can kind of do whatever you want. I also have another command down here called ask which is going to use OpenAI and just fetch in all the entries and just kind of aggregate all the entries together and pass that into the text completion down here, as you can tell. And then I finally just log out the response. All right, so it's a really basic program, but the cool thing is, is that using Commander, I really don't have to do much work, right? I can just say npm run start, hyphen hyphen add, and I can say, today I rode my bike for 20 minutes. Okay, and that's gonna go ahead and run that task that I had specified up above right here and add that to my Prisma schema in my SQLite database. So Commander also is gonna check for like wrong commands. So if I were to say like WTF, notice that it does say unknown command WTF, which is really nice because like if someone were to accidentally type in the wrong command or mistype something, it just, you know, it'll yell at you. You don't have to write that logic to kind of handle that. Another cool thing you can do that's provided out of the box is you can say help and then actually supp supply it a command here, right? So if I do npm run start hyphen hyphen help and then type in like add, that's going to give you the information that's related specifically to that add command. It tells you how to run it. It gives you that description and it also allows you some options, right? So options are another really interesting thing where if you ever need to specify like a, a command line option, like a hyphen P for port, you can do that really easily. So for example, if I wanted to do that with the add command, I can go down here and I can say option and I'll say like P for port. And now if I were to go ahead and run the command help, you'll notice that port is an option. I should probably put a hyphen here, right? Now if I run this, I should get that option here. So if I were to go ahead and just say run add port, I'm gonna go ahead and print out port here. Um, I'll say options. I'm gonna go ahead and print out options like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just type in another thing that I did today. I see I ate some, I ate some soup and pancakes. There we go. And although it did add that entry, the thing I'm trying to show here is that you get access to all the options that are passed in. So you could potentially pass in a port number so I could say like number here and let's just go ahead and print help. Okay. So it's saying it takes in a number and now option should instead be a port number. Uh, what else did I do today? I drank a lot of water today. Okay. Go ahead and run that one. Um, I think I forgot to add the port here. So let's just do like 8080 or something and uh, go ahead and run that one. There we go. So if you ever need to build out a command line interface and you're kind of like just playing around with building out tools in Node or JavaScript or TypeScript, definitely check out this library. It's definitely very useful. I know when I first started learning how to code, like I try to like parse the command line arguments by hand and like do all this. And it's really just a giant waste of time, especially since there's a library that provides so much functionality out of the box. There's really no reason to like not use this from the get go. Anyway, just figured I share that with you all just in case you haven't heard about this tool. I mean, I'm sure you have. It has this many weekly downloads, probably a very popular package. All right. Other than that, have a good day. Happy coding. Feel free to join my discord if you want a place to kind of hang out and ask questions to other developers.